And I went to the toilet and uh, yeah, it all turned bad, just instantly. So in the emergency room, in amongst people coming and going, the glove came on and then I got my first <laughs> introduction to a prostate <laughs> examination. Yeah, everybody talks about right? Let me tell you, it can be done with a blood test. <laughs> if that's your thing, <laughs> do it. But you don't have to. Uh, and there and then he just looked at me and he said, mate, you are uh, stage four advanced prostate cancer. And I just sat there and... Didn't have a good time. <laughs> I've never felt alone. And I had no right to feel alone because I never am. But for that moment, yeah, deeply and lost. You know, it's, it's, I know what it's like to be a 13 year old kid to lose his, your father. And now I know what it's like to be a father that's, I'm very much aware of those phases of, of grief. And yeah, we did spend six months crying. I think because we're so open and honest about it, it's certainly helped with that process. And I, I don't feel the anger. Um, I don't feel lost because of open conversation. I had a bucket list, part of the preparation. Um, and I, I, I ticked off everything on that bucket list some years ago. Uh, the last thing I had on my bucket list, uh, I had an elderly grandmother. She was renowned for her scones. Um, so I flew to Sydney and uh, I made scones with my grandmother on the kitchen bench. So, no, I don't have things to tick off. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Um, I have adventures now. You know, we go on trips. And I thought my friends were nice, but God, there's some shit they want to do. <laughs> well, it's a hideous disease. No one wants it. I've got it. And now I've got the opportunity to do whatever it is that I want to do in life because of it. So as soon as I walked in the wish list and I saw what you had, I was just overwhelmed. What can people do? How can they help? In the simplest way, that doesn't cost them a lot of time or money or effort. And that's just to get behind one of the fun programs that we've got at Wishlist, which is Case of Cancer. You get on board, you get your sponsorship, but then you challenge your mates, you challenge your workplaces, and you come together as a group of people and you achieve great things for people that you will never ever meet. And by doing so, the influence that you have on other people to do the same is tenfold. And together, by doing things like Caves for Cancer, we will drag people up from the worst position that they have been in their life and we will give them some sunshine. And that's what we're going to do together. That's why I want your help.